Hey everybody, welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Rainya Harris. Hello. Team, right? We sure do. This is all about Italy, all about Tuscany, right? Tuscany. Ciao, baby. Ciao, baby. Yeah, <laughs> but before we actually <laughs> talk about the food, we want to talk about setting the right scene. Oh, uh, most definitely the most magnificent scene, actually. So we took a little field trip. We went to Tuscany. We went to Tus <laughs> we sort of went to Tuscany. Take a look at what we found. Oh. This is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, you know, my friends from Lendable Linens, All Occasion Party Rentals, and Mount Lebanon Floral have been coming through for us mm. every year. I can't even tell you how many years we've been doing this, David, where they create this gorgeous tablescape, and then I create a fabulous meal to go with it. And you were saying there's a way to start, There right? is. The way to start is always with the linen. It's sort of the artist palette. You have to start with the linen, and this came from Lendable Linens. It is a natural hem stitch linen. Mm -hmm. that we put over just a regular old white linen tablecloth. Again, very earthy, very pretty, not a lot of color because that's the way it would be in Tuscany. In Tuscany, okay. And then when we build up from this gorgeous palette, we start building with all of the gorgeous things that All Occasions has given us, starting off with these wonderful poplar chargers. Yeah, that's very neat. Yes, and then you see we've built up on that. These are white lily plates, mm -hmm. and these are Positano, Positano. Positano, Positano. okay. Positano. Positano. <laughs> and then these fabulous bread and butters are our Malfi. Oh, just like, like the Amalfi Coast, Amalfi Coast of course, right? which is also gorgeous, of course. And look at these, they look like mother of pearl. Aren't they beautiful? These Wonderful. are called Itis. Okay. And this is the newest flatware that All Occasions carries along with the Jupiter glasses. This is so unique. And I've never seen that. anything like this I before. I know, it is really, really pretty. Going with Aurora mm -hmm. stemware. And I just, what a all, combination. In all, all in all, and look at these hemstitch napkins with a wooden napkin ring. I mean, fantastic, except What's even more spectacular yeah, we have to talk about is this. What, what, what we got from Mount Lebanon Floral, <laughs> fresh rosemary. Right. I mean, how beautiful you is that? You could have this and just cook right here, right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Fresh rosemary. I can pull it off. Just and pull start it off as you creating. go. Creating. <laughs> and we've got eucalyptus, we've got hydrangeas, we've got olium, and we've got these fantastic feathers that are. What are they called? Pampas. Pampas. We just learned that. <laughs> and succulents and great candles, big fat candles. All you need is the food and the vino bianco. All right, now that you have that beautiful table setting. Don't you just want to go to Italy? I do want to go to Italy. Me too. Let's go, oh, Rainy. Okay. <laughs> All right, if you can't go to Italy, though, you can still taste Italy, You can right? taste Italy, and you can create the tablescape that we created. Mm -hmm. Really, just, it's so simple. Use your imagination, folks, and roll with it. But while you're rolling with it, think about making a fantastic pasta dish, because that's the first thing I think of when oh I gosh, think yeah. Italian food is Everybody pasta. Does. And this has so, I love the colors in this right now. This is a really nice summer pasta dish because it has all the gorgeous tomatoes that we can find at this time mm -hmm. of the year that are so sweet and so succulent. And I made a pesto with basil, but I put almonds in it instead of pine nuts. Okay. So it's an almond pesto. Yeah. And then I added that to the pasta with a, the cooked pasta with a little bit of the reserved pasta water to moisten it. Mm -hmm. And but then what I did and there's a ton of garlic you'll find out in a minute. I like garlic. Yeah. Though. You'll we like this. You just both have to have it. Otherwise right, it's right, bad. right, right, right. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it, you or, or eat a lot of mints. Right. But this is an unusual twist. It's topped with really crusty croutons that you fry in a little bit of olive oil. Oh, so you fried these? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. May I? All right. Absolutely. All right. All right. I get to taste test this. This is wonderful. I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised as to how yummy this is. There you go. Try All that, right. my friend. And once again, this, I mean, this it totally fits with the table setting. Because it really does. It takes you to Tuscany. A, you can have a red wine or a white wine. It doesn't really matter. Mm. You know, 
You, do you like it? This is so summertime. It right really now. is, and and it's and it. I'm serve it at room temperature. I do not serve this warm or hot. Mm -hmm. Just room temperature, so it can be made ahead, but bring it to room temperature before you serve it. It's fantastic. And if you want the recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. Rania Harris's recipes are always there. And also the providers of the tablescape there. Yes. You can check those out. We have links for you at uh, PittsburghTodayLive.com. And next, next time, we're next going week, to India. India. You and I are just a couple of jet setters. We're traveling. <laughs>